Uh, Daryl Issa is uh, joining me right now, the congressman extraordinaire. He heard this and said, oh my goodness, and here we go. How likely is this? Well, I think there's only so many self-hating billionaires. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> they really do have a thing against this whole issue. I don't know where their guilt came from. Perhaps we could look, look more clear, clearly into how they made their money. Uh, the estate tax is one of those taxes that is always easy prey, but let's think about who pays it. The family farmer whose land is worth $20 million, even if it only makes $300,000 a year, the next generation doesn't farm, they sell it off. So the idea that, that you're not hurting anyone when you look at at least entrenched businesses is missing the point of the, the very family businesses that are under attack with these tax increases. But it might be a moot point. I mean, I think this, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Chairman, I think this is one of the uh, surprising grenades in these talks that uh, that could go up even more than it stands to go up. And, and while these gentlemen say that it's going to raise a lot of money, you argue it could boomerang. Explain. Well, I mean, first of all, as you start raising money, you start killing successive businesses. You can't pass them on to your children because they can't borrow enough to do it. On top of that, quite frankly, there's a fairness issue. If you really want to take the deduction down to zero, go ahead. Have everyone's estate open to a tax. And what you discover, of course, is Americans don't really believe in this tax. They just believe they won't pay it. And uh, that's been one of the successes of this business. Well, they didn't think they would pay it because right now it's it, it kicks in five million for an individual with right. seven million for a couple, it right. would revert to what? Reverts to one million. And of course, if these people have their way, it'd go lower. And and look, maybe it should, because maybe the problem we're having here in Washington is the problem that we're not all in it together. We're deciding how to raise forty billion dollars off of two percent of America when in fact we have a trillion dollar deficit. We're talking about not being able to make any meaningful cuts, just the opposite. The president wants to have a stimulus at a time in which we have a trillion dollar deficit deficit and he's saying we have to have a tax increase on two percent. The real solution to this, the one that I think Speaker Boehner is working hard for is we're all in this together. We're all being taxed too little or we're spending too much or a combination of the two and if we're going to do it it's got to be a hundred percent solution. You think we're being taxed too little? I believe that in some cases there are taxes that in fact could be different. I'll speak only for myself. When we went from the 20 percent to the 15 percent on capital gains it didn't change my consideration on capital gains. I'm happy to have the 15 percent, but quite frankly, my decision in investment wouldn't change very much between the 15 and the 20. I'm a so you're open to the investment-related taxes that go up under this plan. I believe that it's the, not the income-related taxes. Right. Neil, I believe in the Laffer curve. I believe that in fact, at zero tax, you get no revenue, and at 100 percent tax, you get no productivity. And what you're trying to find is what the maximum revenue to government is, including the maximum economic growth. But you would be open to uh, Speaker Boehner offering these $800 billion in revenues. However, that's going to be sorted out. Uh, he doesn't want rate hikes, but it might end up being rate hikes. He wants a limit on deductions, right, that sort of thing. But would either be fine with you or more the limit the deductions, leave the rates alone? Neil, we have a lot of hidden things in the tax code. Uh, I can take a building and put a new roof on it, and as long as I stay under a certain level in a given corporation. I know that, but Democrats are saying that's a non starter to them. It's got to be rates or busts. You say well, what? I think it's got to be both. Okay. I think they all have to be on the table. But again, rates are a question of if you raise the rate, do you lower economic activity? Do we lower the ability for the person uh, who works for a company with 20 employees right. who realizes that if you. They'll find a way around. Uh, what is well, we're worse than that. They may lower the number of employees because they can't afford the growth that they may otherwise have. Right, or make them part time. Uh, is your sense that we're going to have a deal or no? You know, I, I want to be an optimist. I want to believe that the president doesn't want to hurt this country, that at the end of the day, he'll take a reasonable combination that gets us partway down the road with the prom a legitimate promise that we'll keep working on it. Because it is a trillion dollar problem. It won't be fixed with a $40 billion or tax Or maybe increase. he wants this to go up over the cliff and then start from scratch. Well, if he wants to have $538 billion worth of tax increases, there's one thing good about it, Neil. At least we're all in there 
there together and then we can have a discussion. It does take care of half of the of the deficit. But let's understand, it also is a shock to an awful lot of people whose tax planning and whose life planning counts on that two or three or four thousand dollars that they've been not paying in taxes. Right. But at least, and I say it one last time, at least we'd all be in it together and we could have the discussion. Republicans well, want everyone you, was on the Titanic. That didn't work out so well. Well, you know, ultimately, united we stand, divided we fall. Right. I believe that Americans should be united to take care of a trillion dollar deficit and the solution should be about all of us sharing in that. All right. Thank, Chairman, you. thank you very, very much. Dallas, uh, one of the more powerful figures uh, here in Washington.